In this video, we will demonstrate how to install the Schlage CS210 interconnected lock. After watching this video, you will be able to check the door prep measurements prior to installation, change the handing of the lock to match your door if necessary, install the lock, and test the lock for proper operation. These are the tools you will need. We will be installing the CS210 lock on a residential entry door and frame that has been prepped according to the template. For all drilling dimensions, please see the door prep template. In the box, you will find the escutcheon, interconnect assembly, levers, outside housing assembly, thumb turn, small parts bag, template, and instruction sheet. Confirm the door prep prior to installation. First, measure the distance between the horizontal center lines of the face bores. They should be either 4 inches or 5 and a half inches apart. Take note of the actual measurement. Measure the diameter of both face bores. They should be 2 and 1 eighth inches. Measure the distance between the vertical center line of the face bores and the door's edge. They should be either 2 and 3 eighths inches or 2 and 3 quarter inches. Take note of the actual measurement. Last, check that the diameter of the latch bore is 1 inch. If any of these measurements are not correct, contact your door hardware supplier for assistance. Match the faceplate of the latch bolt and deadbolt to the mortise cutout. If the faceplate must be changed, for example, from the square one to the rounded one, use a slotted screwdriver to remove it. Install the latch bolt into the bottom face bore, ensuring the bevel of the latch is facing the strike so that the door will close when installation is complete. If your door is a fire door, first insert the UL cup into the bottom face bore from the inside, then insert the latch bolt as shown. Before installing the deadbolt latch, set it according to the measurement between the vertical center line and the door edge, either 2 and 3 8 inches or 2 and 3 quarter inches. Then install the deadbolt latch into the top face bore. Be sure the latch is oriented so the word top appears on top. If your door is a fire door, insert the deadbolt UL cup from the inside first. Then insert the deadbolt as shown. If your door is not a fire door, neither cup needs to be installed. Drill pilot holes in each of the screw locations. Then secure each latch with two combination thread screws. Determine the handing of your door. In this video, the door is right hand. See the instruction sheet for more information. If the handing must be changed, remove both levers from the inside and outside chassis by inserting the pin wrench and gently pulling the lever off, as shown. Pick up the inside chassis and look at the side with the black horizontal piece. Note the screw holes in the two corners of the chassis one with a small letter L next to it, and another with a small letter R next to it. The screw and washer must be installed into the L hole for a left-hand door and the R hole for a right-hand door. In this video, the screw and washer must be removed and screwed into the R hole. Turn the chassis around and observe the small triangle-shaped points on the cam. For left-hand doors, they should be on the top and bottom, and for right-hand doors, they should be on the sides. In this video, the cam must be rotated so the points are on the sides. Next, pick up the outside chassis and set it so the spindle is facing up with the mounting screw holes at the top and bottom. The handing plate is labeled with an L and an R and directional arrows with the current placement shown appropriate for a left-hand door.
or a right-hand door, use the screwdriver to gently pry the handing plate up, then rotate it 90 degrees and press back into position. The arrows should match the lever rotation. Reinstall the outside lever onto the chassis by gently pressing into place until you hear a click. Do not install the inside lever yet. This will be done in a later step. Before continuing, ensure the deadbolt is retracted. With the cylinder tailpiece oriented vertically, insert the outside housing assembly through the deadbolt latch assembly. Ensure the cam of the interconnect assembly is vertical. Then, place the assembly onto the inside of the door, ensuring the tailpiece fits into the cam as shown. Secure with the two screws. You may need to hold the outside housing assembly in place. If the distance between your horizontal face bore center lines measured 4 inches, remove the black plastic plate and screws from the interconnect assembly. In this video, the measurement is 5.5 inches, so the piece is left in place. To install the inside chassis, lift the plate of the interconnect assembly, place the chassis over the face bore, and lower the plate. Ensure the orientation of the chassis is correct by confirming that the handing screw is on the bottom edge. Please note, the lever must be removed from the inside chassis before continuing. To remove the lever, use the pin wrench to press the catch on the lever post and gently pull it off. Place the outside chassis into the door. Insert the two screws through the inside chassis and secure both inside and outside chassis with the two screws. Place the escutcheon over the interconnect assembly. Then, install the escutcheon plate, ensuring the thumb turn is in the correct position to extend and retract the latch bolt. Secure with the two screws. Please note, if the distance between your horizontal face bore center lines was 4 inches, Position the escutcheon plate with the outermost hole on the bottom. If the distance was 5.5 inches, position with the outermost hole at the top. Install the inside lever using the pin wrench to depress the catch on the lever post as necessary. Install the deadbolt strike, drilling pilot holes, and securing with the two screws. Then. Install the latch bolt strike, drilling pilot holes and securing with the two screws. To test the operation of the lock, extend the deadbolt using the thumb turn. Then, turn the inside lever down and ensure the deadbolt and latch bolt fully retract. If the deadbolt does not retract, remove the escutcheon and check the cam orientation. If the lever will not turn, uninstall the lock and check the handing. If necessary, skip back in this video to review the steps. Next, extend the deadbolt again. Then, turn the outside lever down and ensure the latch retracts, but the deadbolt does not retract. If the deadbolt retracts, uninstall the lock and check the handing. Skip back in this video or see the instruction sheet for more information. Close the door and ensure the latch fully engages with the strike plate. For assistance, contact customer care at 877-671-7011.